Hey, what is going on, Twin Tendo Nation? I hope you're having an awesome day, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Explorers of Sky Randomized Edition. So, so far, we've basically done four dungeons, I think, two last episode, and I know a lot of you guys said we want the story back or just, you know, me to read the characters. I think the reason why I didn't last time is because I was in such a rush because I had to re record it like a few times, and, you know, I just thought people wanted gameplay, but I'm glad people want the story as well. So, and episodes I think will be a bit shorter because, you know, I can get one out of day, uh, one episode out a day, which I've been consistently doing. I think I'll be okay. Ah, you two. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board. Okay, so basically, um, we'll just have to do jobs. So it's not a real story. I think we just do a few jobs for a while. Well, if you understand, get on with it. Okay. Um, I think my walking speed's slow, actually. Uh, where is it? No, my walking speed is... Am I just doing it wrong? I always thought I was a bit faster. Oh, the reason why I'm probably thinking that, I just had to speed up um, all the way through here because I forgot to save. Well, I didn't forget to save, I just accidentally overwrote it. So I've made a few copies. Um, we're going to do Beach Cake. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this free and Drench Bluff. Do we risk it? I think we risk it. Yeah, let's go Drench Bluff. I'm going to regret this. I know I am. So, let's get this mission on the way. Okay, guys. It's time for Drench Bluff. I think we were okay first time round. I think. Okay, so it keeps its appearance and stuff. So it's randomized kind of like only the once, really. It's still better than plain old Drench Bluff. Now, we do need to be wary of the Hitmon leaves in here. I think is what... Is that... Yeah, Oran Berry, that's cool. So there's Oran Berries, like the false ones in here. And I wasn't sure if they had official ones. There's golden apples though everywhere. I think, because I tried to sell them, you can't sell them. Oh, great. Uh, you can't sell them, but you, I think they're for Spinders Cafe? I assume so. If you could let me move, that would be a great game. Go on. There we go. I feel like Eevee sits back a lot. That's what I've noticed. Like, especially when I'm getting attacked, it doesn't seem to jump in as much as I'd like. But, we'll see. When it gets better moves, I'm sure it'll be fine. Because the only decent move Eevee's got... Well, it's got a lovely kiss, which is really helpful. Um, but it's also got double edge, which is powerful, but it recoils itself. Okay, so far, so good. I want to get through these missions as quickly as possible. We want to get onto the story. Uh, no. Okay, I just got confused and I, I forget that message pops up. Okay, we can... That's the thing that uses hail! Cocooner is! Wow, didn't see that one coming. I mean, obviously it is randomised, so I kind of should expect stuff like that, but... I don't know. We, we just never knew what caused the hail. Okay, wow. One damage. And it looks like a powerful move. Oh, great. Beautiful eye. Yeah, a bit of a pain to be honest. We can just push Eevee in. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you. So I kept the types the same. I could have changed the types uh, for the Pokemon, but I thought there's no real point. When you see a Pokemon, you instantly think of its type. So, you know, I'm not going to change that. But I mean, you, you guys can if you want to do it on your randomized Let's Plays or just playthroughs of the game. Here we go. I don't know what this floor's for. Um, I'm sure... Oh, it's Blast... It's the Blast Seed one. Okay, so we've got to find a Blast Seed. I'm pretty sure it should be on this floor somewhere, if not. Because that's how it works in Super Mystery Dungeon, and I'm assuming that's how it works. Oh, Ice Beam. That's a very good move. Right. Oh, that move takes forever to like load up. I don't know why. But let's send Eevee into the battle. I was hoping you'd use Lovely Kiss. Okay, this might be a bad idea. Okay, I'll switch in. But, you know, we've got to give Eevee some screen time. The heroine of the uh, Let's Play. And dead end. Great. I hate when that happens. Like, I swear, I always find every room in a dungeon before the stairs, before the room of the stairs. That happens so much in Super Mystery Dungeon. Not that much in this one. I feel like the layout's much easier uh, in the DS ones. There's just too many hallways in the, um, the new ones. Let's just eat these gummies. Oh, I found the Blast Seed, sweet. Oh, cool. Nope. We've got one more. 
We might as well give Eevee this gummy as well. We'll be fair. Equal. There you go, Eve. Right. Last floor, hopefully. And then we'll get onto the good stuff. Oh, maybe not. Surely sixth floor. Oh, no, is that an elixir? You reach your destination floor. Awesome. Oh, a mixed elixir. Great. I've no idea what that does. Torchic's just spamming soft boiled. Oh, it's because of the hail, isn't it? Okay. You do that, Torchic. And apparently, someone was telling me I can't recruit Pokemon until Chimeco opens up, which is fine. Uh, I just completely forgot about that, which should be, I think, after this mission, if I'm correct in saying that. Um, so, hopefully, that's true. God, this is just so annoying because the hail's like lagging out. Well, it's not lagging, but. Oh, Twin Needle. It just slows down the whole thing. See, I want the Torchic. I, like, originally, like, last episode, I was like, I want that Torchic, but his moveset's terrible. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Don't let me attack. What's this? So this is a destination floor. So are we going to find someone here? Have I... Hang on. Have I missed something? Find pink gummy. Okay. It's gotta be this thing. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I should have probably looked at the mission objectives. Okay. So far, so good. We didn't die. That's a record, I think. We pretty much died in every other dungeon. So there we go, a bit of money. An orange gummy. Okay. We're making places, we're going places in this team. Thank you for giving me the blast seed. To show my thanks, I want you to have my gold gummy. Actually, I'm pretty sure we've already had a few, but I will take that. I'm pretty sure these aren't randomized items. Uh, Petra Scarf. I remember you get that quite early on. Okay, we just want some revive seeds, I'll be honest. And I can't be the only one who really looked forward to seeing this uh, like cutscene every time you finished a mission. I loved this cutscene. And I feel like, yeah, it was in Super Mystery Dungeon, but it felt like a bit of a cheap knockoff to me. Like, this is the original one. Right. Oh, here we are. Chapter 4, The Gatekeepers. So, this is where we kind of get to learn the... Um, what's it called? I can't even remember the name for it now. Basically, like, when you view of a Pokemon's footprints. The sentry, that's it. That's what I was thinking of. Right. Let us go. And free. Smiles go for miles. You'll hear that a lot, believe me. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Now, hopefully I will remember to save this time, because, whoa. Hey, you two! That kind of took me off, or took me by surprise. We need your help with something today. I would not want to work with Loud. No offense to him. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he'd be so annoying. Diglett, I brought them. Thank you, Loudred. You two are doing sentry duty today. It's actually quite fun, I'm not going to lie. Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye. Yeah, cheers, Diglett. He's dropping this on us. And that's that. Lauder looks so weird with his mouth closed. Huh? I didn't follow that at all. How do we get involved in this? It's pretty true. Shut your yap. No more belly aching. Go do your duty. Ow, my head hurts. Okay. It's not too difficult. There's some that stumped me. What are we expected to do anyway? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard right. Sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild. So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. They can do that all by looking at their feet. I find bizarre, but fair enough. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What are you... Come on, it's quite obvious. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! All that stuff. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Eevee's. The footprint is Eevee's. Ah. Oh. Flashback. Well, um... Oh, now I remember. 
There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating, then someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Hopefully we can just breeze through this. Like, it's fun, but like no one really looks forward to it. Okay, so we should climb down this hole, and then what? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Dun, 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 dun. I love Wigglytuff's Guild music. Like, I could listen to... Well, I'd say I could listen to that all day. It drive me mad. Diglett bur burrows through it and pops out underneath the sentry post. I can't read today. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. <laughs> don't judge me. And how Diglett can climb up vines, I just don't ask. From the sentry post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. He's not even... Is he looking up? No, he's not even looking up. Then I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. Okay. Um, that seems like a uh, tiring job. Loudred has to go up and, like, the flight of ladders and just open the gate for every visitor. So we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. But, like, we can go whenever we want because it's open, which is kind of contradicting this whole thing. Anyway, look, all you two have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors and tell me what Pokemon they are. We can do that. Yes. I'm not letting you explain that again. Let's just do this. Yeah, it's pitch black in here, Rick. We'll have to feel our way. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there it is. I see light, Rick. Now, will I have to click with the mouse or use... Can I use a controller for this? Yep, we're here. Good. Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint, then inform me. Got that? Yep, we've got that. Good, let's get started. Okay, finally. There's a lot of talking in this game. I can only get two wrong. Oh, that is, uh, um, Jesus. I'm gonna go hit on top. Yeah, that's pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's Hoot Shoot. No, no! But Hoot Shoots is together. Well, I thought it was. Oh, that is, um, shift tree. Definitely. Okay, it's a bit embarrassing I got that wrong. But oh well. Uh, that is, yeah, it's a bit plop. I thought it was Cyndaquil's at first. Very similar. Here comes Pokemon. I used to be so good at this, like I'd get it every time. Uh, that is Charizard. We're smashing this now. I think we've got one more. Here comes a Pokemon. Oh, for Alligator. It could have been a close one with Mankey, but like it curves inwards. Okay. In fact, no, Mankey's one look like that. Please tell me you've done well. You've worked an honest day, you two. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Well, well. Your results were completely perfect. Yes, they were. Give us some goods. You identified every visitor correctly. I, I wonder who's clapping, to be honest. Excellent. We did it. We'll reward your effort. Generously, I might add. You all deserve an especially large reward. 500. Yeah, that's good. Joy Seed. Whoa, Joy Seed. Seriously? Not only that, the team also received a Ginseng. I would like a Reviver Seed, please. A life seed. Don't really know what that. Oh, is that like heals you? It's like an orange berry thing. Keep up the good work. If only we did it perfectly. Like he says, we did it perfectly, but we did mess up on one. And when I say we, I mean me, <laughs> not you guys. You, I'm sure everyone got that correct. So let's do one more mission, I think, for today's episode, and we'll, we'll see. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Rick. Good night. Okay, I'm thinking, if I'm correct in saying this, it's Waterfall Cave, which is one of my favourite missions. We'll have to find out. Okay guys, so we have another day of jobs. Not Waterfall Cave yet, we'll save that for next episode. We could do an Outlaw one. Let's mix it up, let's do an Outlaw. Oh, God. Why didn't I even think this would happen? Now, I don't think we're ready for any outlaw missions yet. They seem a bit too difficult for us. Um, so when we're leveled up to around level 15, perhaps, we, uh, we'll take him on. But for now, we'll just do the hardest mission we can. 
um, on the, just the item kind of list, just a standard bulletin board, which is a C class or C rank one, uh, and all outlaws one are, are Bs. We're not ready for that. Like we die easily, you know, to any Pokemon. We could die to this Cubone, and it wouldn't surprise me. So, no way are we ready for outlaw stuff. Oh, jeez, that's a really good move to use. Eevee, I'm counting on you. Go for it. No, this is why I don't count on you sometimes. Like, lovely kiss, great move. And, like, good use of it there. Second time round, not so much. But I've got so... I'm so lucky to have a good ability here, which kind of, like... I think it's rough skin, rebounds the damage back. It's brilliant. I'm pretty sure it was. We checked last episode, and that's what it said. But for this one, we need to get to floor 7. And we should be okay. I'm just probably, I might run out of PP. Let's get Eve on the action. You'll be fine, Eevee. Ace. Now, I forgot to ask, question of the day. Um, I should have asked a, lo a long time ago at the start of this episode. But question of the day for you guys. What partners or what Pokemon do you use when you play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? I mean, obviously, you've probably had quite a few. Normally, I, I always go Mugkip Trico, so I'm used to the one kind of partnership. Uh, so it's different. Like, this is the you know, first time I'm actually using different partnership. So uh, let me know in the comments, who do you use when you play? Or just list any teams you've used in the past, and maybe which is your favourite. This is a dead end for sure. We've been baited. This is worse than clickbait. Come on, Eve. Go for it. Oh, we can't take another one of those hits. I didn't realise matchups were um, in here. They're quite good, aren't they? Definitely took a lot of damage, Eevee, there. Gardevoir is not too bad. Luckily, I've got Bite, and it really seems to have weak defense. Thunderstone. <laughs> we can't give that Eevee, can we? Can we break the rules? Ah, oh, Wait, is that... And it's gone. That sucks, because it's like, it uses it. And I know your partner, like, in the games, your partner can't evolve till late on. But I thought, you know, this is a randomizer. It's a bit of a, a cheat kind of game since we're kind of hacking it to alter Pokemon. I just wondered that might evolve Eevee. Oh dear. I'm going to have to jump in here. No one misses with my woman. Except maybe Growlithe because I can't hit it. They are we'll go back on that. They are the best Pokemon here in my opinion, Growlithe. If we could get one on our team it'd be superb. Look at that. Look at the range. Now I do have oh dear. I do have Water Spout. Should we just use it? Because it's super effective. Yes, we should. Awesome. Right, so a few more floors. Oh, which one's the real Eevee? That is uh, a bit crazy. Oh, and I'm in the line of Growlithe's sight. No. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. No. Game over, guys. I wanted to go diagonally up this controller. Oh, hang on. Have we been saved? No, Eevee. Right. Okay, great. I can only really use that move. Might be able to live. No, Eevee. Okay, and you. Stop it. Okay, no. Okay. Brilliant. Don't miss. Okay, no, we're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. I mean, we're on 10 health and 2 health respectively, but we're fine. I hope. We are so lucky there, guys. It's just, you know, we got put to sleep and. Oh, God. Attacked by a, a decent Pokemon. Do you mind, mate? Water spout. Go on, then. It misses too much, that move. It honestly does. Oh, it's not worth it, is it? Come on, we got this. I, I I like how Eevee helps now. No, mate, you're not using Wish. God, but look at the XP we get. It's so worth it coming here for Mammoth Swines. It really is. Right, this is the floor. If we can do this, job well done. Whelma could be a problem. Come on. Great. I don't know who who's is like Lovely Kisses. Like which Pokemon can use Lovely Kiss? Because obviously I don't think Eevee can. I just wonder where it originates from. I don't think it's exclusive to a Pokemon. Is it like Jinx, perhaps? 
I have no idea. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. It would be awesome. You'd be a legend. Oh, we found a sleep seed. Yes, we've done it, guys. It looked like we weren't going to. But we're better than that. We've learned from our mistakes, kind of. I'd say so. So, all in all, a job well done. Thank you for getting me to sleep seed. No problem. It was tough, but we did it. To show my thanks, I want you to have my pink gummy. Were we the, like, were you the person who wanted a pink gummy originally in the previous missions? Anyway. To show my thanks. Yes, Max Elixir. We really need some of them because, as you guys can see, I run out of bite very quickly. So, job well done. Um... I honestly thought we'd get some more story stuff today, but it just seems to be a few odd missions. But, you know, we need to use these kind of character building moments to help ourselves in the future. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Rick. We will, because tomorrow will be part four, and tomorrow will be Waterfall Cave, I think. Which is, again, this is when the story starts kicking a bit more. Very fun mission if you've never played it, and if you have played it, you know how good that mission is. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like to show your support for this series. And if you're new around here, maybe this is the first part you're watching and you want to stay up to date with this series or Pokemon Go or Pokemon Sun and Moon stuff, then hit the subscribe button down below. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you on the next episode. Peace!